founding city of Veterans Day. 61 years now 61 that we've been years. celebrating in Emporia. Yep, 60 nationwide, 61st Emporia one. So That's right, great opportunity. Cool. And here's the John North Ford courtesy vehicle that also always serves as a chase vehicle for our color guards in all parade. Thanks to John North Ford for providing that vehicle for the VFW Post and the American Legion and their color guard units. Up next is the Emporia Fire Department and the Chief Lang pumper truck. And Christian, one of the best parts of parades, you can always hear them. Here come the marching hornets from Emporia State University Band. the direction of band director Gary Zeke. The Marching Hornets have got a nice strong unit this year for the parade. got to give a lot of respect to the members of the bands that are out today. Very cool day. <laughs> Tough to put that metal to your lips and uh, play those instruments. They're doing a great job. Yes, it is. Next up is our Gold Mothers, Gold Star Mothers group. And remember, in the face of the falling here in Emporia. of area veterans who have given their lives in service to our country over the years. Next up, the Disabled American Veterans Lyon County Chapter. Great organization that helps our veterans here in the area with different things and programs, including transportation to the Veterans Hospital in Topeka. And up next, the American Legion float. Our post five American Legion unit here in Emporia. Good, how are you? Celebrating and honoring Veterans Day with the Kiwanis veterans as well. <laughs> and number 13 is the Daughters of the American Revolution. Great historic ties of family ties serving clear back to Revolutionary War days here in our country. Christian, lots of great activities have been going on this past weekend, and there's still some stuff to go today. What kind of things should Emporians be looking for opportunities to be involved in Veterans Day here? Uh, see, this afternoon we have at 11 o'clock at the Hammond Bean Feed, uh, the, the VFW and the American Legion. Um, following the parade, we have the ceremony at the uh, All Veterans Memorial. So definitely check that out. It's a cold day, but it's a great thing to see, so uh, definitely go out. Great opportunities. As you can see, Civil Air Patrol units here driving through. We saw their color guard unit earlier, and you can hear them now. From right here in Emporia, Kansas, it's the Spartan Pride Marching Band. You know, I, I will say Bob Hazelhoon is the director of the marching band. He's been doing a great job of developing this band. Have had a couple of great successful years, including this year a one rating and a best performance for the for the uh, drum line at the Neowala Festival, which is one of the biggest marching band festivals in the state of Kansas. That's very cool. Great opportunity. Congratulations to Bob and the entire Spartan Pride marching band. You certainly represent our community well. Next, the Emporia State University Department of Nursing. 
We're represented by one of their nursing students that is a 24-year veteran of the military and did some research and chose Emporia State University as his place to finish his degree after retiring. That's awesome. Great group from the ESU Department of Nursing. Great program. One of the best nursing programs in the nation, Christian. Emporia State University, very successful. Oh, and here comes the Arab Temple Cartoons group. Great crowd, always fun to have in the parades. The kids always enjoy them as they're out representing the Arab Temple group. Doing good, Rob, keep it up. <laughs> now, Christian, you grew up in Emporia as I did. I did. The Shriners and the Mini Tees, how important was that to you as a kid when you come to the praise to see the them? The most important thing. is always <laughs> the coolest thing to see. One of the coolest things. They've got their little chopper units. They've got their Mini T units. The Shriners, great organization, does a lot of great work in and around the entire country, serving and raising money for their hospitals that help families. And it's always fun to see them in the parade in their Mini T cars. Yes, it is. Got some cool little roadsters here. Thank a veteran, of course, it's Veterans Day. And a nice little lawn chief. That seems like a racing tractor to me. <laughs> you could certainly get the lawn done quickly with a tractor like that. Yes, you could. Other than the fact that it doesn't have any blades, but <laughs> that's all right. You don't need it. Up next, Emporia Middle School Marching Band, the Junior Spartans here, and their Vision Quest after school program. Representatives are State Senator Jeff Longbine and State Representative Don Hill here representing the parade and recognizing Veterans Day. They'll both be heading back to Topeka in January for another legislative session. And they do a great job of representing our community and the history and heritage of our Veterans Day. Uh, very honorable. Coming up next, Pack 165, Grace United Methodist Church, Boy Scout Troop, Cub Scout Pack here. Great group of young men. We've got, you know, we've really got a strong Boy Scout program here in Emporia. Uh, one of the great things in serving on the City Commission is that we get to recognize the Eagle Scouts every year uh, that have, have achieved that highest honor. And in Emporia, we always have three or four every year. It's a great, really great to see the activity of our Boy Scout organization in and around the Emporia area. Christian Veterans Day kind of serves as that, uh, that great reminder, obviously, of, of our heritage and our ties to our veterans and the service they provide our country. As we had mentioned earlier, Emporia, known as the founding city of Veterans Day, first celebrated it 61 years ago and was adopted quickly by Congress a year later. And so we are celebrating 60 years of Veterans Day today here as a nation. Yes, we are. Uh, another thing to point out, we do have a uh, all veterans tribute uh, uh, art show at the Arts Council. Please check that out before the end of the month. At the end of the month, we'll go over to uh, Emporia State Bank where uh, the winning art will be on display. So check that out as well. And once again, another band coming down from Burlingame, Kansas. It's the Bearcat Band. Next, representing Tim Hewell's camp's office. And there he is. Our representative of the first district is Tim Hewell's camp. 
recently re-elected to service again. This will be his third term serving us in Congress in Washington. Great to see Representative Hugh Camp here for yeah. Veterans Day. Very cool. And the Emporia Sertoma Club, representing veterans and members of the Sertoma Club that have served as veterans. Coming down the street from Walnut Elementary School is the Walnut Elementary Patriots. Patriots. All of our schools, obviously, and our, our government offices closed today in, in honor and recognition of Veterans Day. And so it's great to see the school, the students, and uh, the teachers and families coming out and celebrating Veterans Day and representing it in the parade. That's very cool. Especially a cold day like today. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. That's right. Don't forget the annual Turkey Day Dash is coming up Thanksgiving Day at Walnut. Great event has grown to over 500 participants. That's it is amazing. huge. Great big inflatable turkey right there. Oh, with some great gifts for Walnut Turkey Day Dash. And up next, representing the Girl Scouts of the Kansas Heartland, different Girl Scout troops from here in the Emporia area. Once again, another great organization, serves the youth of our community well, teaches them skills of leadership, thinking, uh, teamwork. Great organization, be involved, many different Girl Scout Brownie troops here in the Emporia area that can be involved. And they're giving out flags, how great is that? Once again, another one of our Cub Scout packs from Village School. It's pack 169 coming up the parade route now. A great crowd here, too. And pack 45 out of Timmerman Elementary is coming up the parade route as well. And our local roller derby team that obviously took on the moniker of Veterans City, the Veterans City Rollers represented today in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Just finished up a great season where they're very competitive throughout the state, winning lots of big matches, and they'll be heading back to the track this spring for another season of Veterans Roller Derby. Up next, members of Hand in Hand Hospice, marching the parade route. Great organization serving our community. And in the rolling radio show from Mix 104.9, KVOE FM and AM, there he is, Chuck Samples right there, folks. Christian, we're up to float number 30, which means we're about halfway through the parade. Do you feel your fingers still? Uh, not really. Can't feel my ears either. <laughs> All right. Uh... Coming up next, representing Lyon County State Bank right here, there to make their home loans. There's the crew from Lyon County State Bank, toughing it out in the cold, having fun. Here comes our sponsors of the parade broadcast, Holiday Resort at Holiday Estates here in Emporia. Brought down their bus with the members that are enjoying the parade. And once again, one of the bands, great to see all the area high school bands participating from Northern Heights High School. It's the Wildcat Marching Band. County Road and Bridge Department. Here comes our float. And they're towing our uh, recycling trailers 
They move these all around Lyon County for people to have an opportunity to recycle. It's a Natural Resources Advisory Board, the City of Emporia, Lyon, and Chase Counties. And TFI Family Services, Foster Hope, Foster Love, Foster Care, a great organization here in Emporia. And they will have their TFI Christmas auction coming up yes, they will. the very first part of December, right here in at the Granada Theater. And now up the road on Highway 99, the Madison Bulldogs Marching Band. sounding large band of the Madison Bulldogs. Up next in the route, in their cool Zimmer, it's Peggy Mast, state representative from the 76th District. That is really one of the coolest cars. I always love seeing that vehicle in the parade. Yeah, John and Peggy Mast. And they look to lead off our antique car club. Lots of great antique cars coming up, representing all kinds of years here in the Emporia area. Lots of great vehicles from the Antique Car Club here today. It's always fun to check out all these cars. A 1912 Ford. 1929. And many of these members of our Antique Car Club also veterans. Christian, I, I don't know what the actual uh, temperature is right now. Oh, I, I guess I can see it right there on the uh, the uh, Castle Insurance sign up there at uh, the old at the Lyon County State Bank Building. 25 degrees. Though I'm betting with the wind chill, we're talking more in the teens right now. Yeah, I would I would agree. It's a cool one. So for all of you guys that are tuned in on TV, whether you're listening to us, watching us on cable channel 70, uh, on Value Net, or on the live stream through the Emporia Gazette website. You may have made a good decision today. We certainly would love to see you downtown, and there's a great crowd, really, for as cool as today is, but we're glad that Holiday Resort could partner with the Emporia Gazette to bring you this live stream broadcast. And representing the North Central be Flint Hills be Area you. Agency on Aging here in the parade. Up next, number 39, there's Mike Dorsey in the 96 won the Wave vehicle. Ray's Auto Detail. Hey, for all your auto detail needs, you can call Ray. Great service. He'll come pick up your car for you. You don't have to drop it off. 794-7663. Hospitality at the best. Up next, the Flint Hills area of Vietnam veterans. With their great retired military vehicles representing all kinds of different service years in the military. Classic U.S. Army Jeep. Gray vehicles restored and uh, still put in service, representing different years. Interesting. <clears throat> a 1942 Willys Jeep there. And a Red Cross Jeep. 
Frank and Barbara Lowry there. Pretty cool. Well, and here comes number 47. Coming down the lot, this is going to be Team Hope World Foundation. Founded right here in Emporia, Team Hope has a mission of supporting those that are battling cancer and uh, helping them through it. Great organization founded by Alicia Hammond, lots of volunteers there. And of course, Courage the Lion, he's the mascot for Team Hope in the back of the Team Hope vehicle. Christian, I tell you, it's definitely been a cool day, but it's been fun out here in the parade, and it's great to see such a great turnout this year for the parade. Up next for, in the KISS 103.1 Rolling Show in Poria's number one hit music station, there's Ashley and Casey. And as always, a great group of organization here in Poria, the Patriot Guard Riders, standing for those of the, who stood for us. Patriot Guard here in Emporia shows up to any veterans um, funeral that they need or Veterans Day events and are always here to represent in the different parades in our community. Great group from the Patriot Guard Riders. <laughs> from Ogle Construction, there's Kevin Ogle. Thanking all the veterans with this vehicle in memory of his father, Ken Ogle, U.S. Air Force, 67 to 71. And up next, Flint Hills Towing. There's Jason Burke in the Flint Hills Towing vehicle, honoring and respecting all veterans in the founding city of Veterans Day here in Emporia. Another color guard unit representing the Asian American veterans here in the Emporia area. You know, Krishna, great turnout today, really, for participants in the parade. You'd expect with temperatures in the uh, the 20s, even dropping in the teens, it'd be a little bit smaller. I'm next to Lyon County Democrats and their float. Here representing and respecting all the veterans that serve and represent Lyon County area. And once again, one of our local elementary schools, the Logan Avenue, thanks all veterans for their service. from the Department of Veterans Affairs, the vetcenter.va.gov. For all veterans' needs and information, visit them online for your assistance. And Kansas Enhanced Veteran Services as well. 
great service to our veterans in the entire state of Kansas and granted them to come and join us for the Veterans Day Parade here in Emporia today. Number 51 is a great float that makes us recognize that the battle is not always just fought overseas. We've got to remember to support our veterans when they're here at home. If you know a veteran that's in crisis, give a call to 1-800-273-8255, the Veterans Crisis Line here in Kansas. And now we've got our Flint Hills Antique Power Association. Great group of guys that bring their restored tractors in, obviously Emporia, part of an agrarian area in the state, and we have an agricultural background, and these are always fun to see these great classic tractors. A couple of Olivers, a Ford coming up, and of course Orange represents Alice Chalmers. A great group here representing the Antique Power Association here in Emporia. And Christian, we can see it My as favorite. always the end of the parade Brought the representing our local National Guard unit here and the Artillery Cavalry unit. It is an M1 Abram tank. That's cute. Always great of them to come down and be a part of the parade every year yes, it is. and represent our local reserve unit and guard unit. Well, and there's a the group wrapping things up. What we're here to respect and what we're here to recognize is our active duty military, our veterans of service in honor of Veterans Day in downtown Emporia. Christian, once again, thank you very much for co-hosting today it. on the parade route. A certainly cool day in downtown Emporia. But it doesn't cool our spirit in recognizing our veterans for the service they provide to our country. Thanks once again to Holiday Resort and Holiday Estates for sponsoring this broadcast. Brought to you live by the Emporia Gazette. We appreciate it. Don't forget to join everybody down at the Stones Grove Veterans Memorial at 11, 11 a.m. for the memorial service. We're signing off today for the Veterans Day Parade in downtown Emporia. Thank you guys very much for tuning in to this ETV broadcast. Thank you.